I got bicycles on my shirt! That is my Mother's Day gift from Steph. Uh, this year it's a shirt from Old Navy and I had had my eyes on this shirt forever and she got it for me as a surprise Mother's Day gift. I'm also wearing um, another gift. This is uh, Thomas Sabo Lime Green Watch. And I only wear it in the summer, obviously, because it's like so bright and green, but there's no rule for that. I could really wear it in the winter time. I don't know why I kind of retire it for the winter and it's nice when I take it out again in the summertime. It feels like it's brand new. I'm also wearing her cupcake ring. <laughs> she bought me this ring. This is so funny. That little ring was in the pocket of this shirt. She's so cute. It's Wednesday, May 21st on this gorgeous, gorgeous day in Montreal. It's a nice 19 degrees Celsius, but it's very sunny. It's breezy. It's supposed to go up to 22 today. And I am drinking out of my California mug. Cheers. Uh, Korean Say Jack. When I drink green tea, I don't know if it's just in my head, but I feel like it suits me a little bit. If you follow me on Facebook last week, you will have seen the bookmark that I decided to uh, doodle on a piece of scrap paper that I used to test my Kuretake um, watercolor set. I have filmed the process. I decided also to add a quote to the back before laminating it. So I'm going to show you that now. All right, so it's very humid here today and the heavy gel is taking a long time to dry. So I thought I would do something else in the meantime. I have this test paper that uh, I did last night because I was sampling my Kuretake's um, or Kuretake, <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce this. It's Japanese, uh, my set of watercolor. And I was swatching them over here and while I was swatching them, um, I had a leftover piece of watercolor paper and I just wanted to see how they would look when washed with uh, water. And um, they're so creamy, they're so yummy. I love, love, love them. I'm gonna do something with this. I'm in need of a bookmark. Um, so I'm gonna pull this to the side. I decided to um, do something with this. Like I see a flower here and I see a few leaves here and there. And I thought for something different that I would um, doodle, but using my Prismacolor pencil, um, pencils. They're not getting any love. They're actually getting white around the tip, which is a good indication that you're not using them as often as you should, CC. So, <laughs> I will grab a dark brown. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a dark brown outline. This is dark brown. There we go. And I'm gonna doodle over that. I'll see what I come up with. I have no idea. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but uh, it should be interesting. So I'm just gonna follow the outline of this shape here because I really like it.
So essentially what I did is I followed the natural course of the, um, the watercolor that was at the base and um, I let it speak to me. And it could have been awful, it could have been so-so, but I like it. To the back of this I want to add a quote and I actually had written a quote with India ink and a small brush. I had made two typos, I could not fix them, so I ended up covering the whole back uh, with India ink, plus it was upside down, so and you can see a faint uh, image of the letters that are there, but that I don't mind, it just adds some uh, texture, I guess, to the back of it. And I'm going to write that quote now, I found this on Pinterest, I really uh, like what it says, it says, there's a voice that doesn't use words, listen. And it's a quote by Rumi, R-U-M-I. So I'm just going to write this with the Posca uh, Uni marker. So I think I'm just going to use very um, sketchy letters. I'm going to use my gel pen now uh, to write the originator of that quote. There. And that's it. So now all I have to do is laminate it. Today I got ahead to the store and film. Um, on Thursday we show the new products that we've gotten in. <coughs> Excuse me. And I need to edit that. So today is not going to be a super creative day. I do have a task to do and um, it's a boring task. Last week I did another of the 48 weeks lessons from Donna Downey in my big 11 by 17 uh, moleskin journal and I was trigger happy. I was like spraying water like there's no tomorrow and I was dripping and I had a lot of fun and unbeknownst to me a lot of that water seeped underneath the protective paper that I had put and it damaged the, the pages in a big way. Not I'm not talking about color seeping through the seam, I'm talking about paper ripping. And I was so upset because it's one, like I don't mind if the color goes onto the other pages. You know, it happens, it's fine. But if I have damage to a paper and I'm missing a chunk of paper, oof. Well, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do today. <laughs> So there's my big moleskin 11 by 17 journal that I use for the 48 weeks uh, classes by Donna Danny. This is the one that um, I did last week and I kind of have a feeling what that I I think I found what went wrong. Um, it is the green gold that I added as a last minute thing. Um, I think I should have stayed in the same color palette. There is supposed to be some green gold in there but uh, somehow it got washed out by all the other colors so I think I should have added maybe orange and I might read I might go over that color eventually but uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is uh, because I've decided to prep my pages ahead of time by prepping I need sealing the joint here in the middle because look what happened so I have wrecked let me give you a close-up I have actually put a hole through my some of my pages and I don't mind see look at this it's horrible because I was dripping so much I didn't pay attention to what was underneath I had papers in between uh, the, the next page uh, like a big paper but I just went crazy and the water just somehow got under so I need to fix that so to prevent all that, I decided that from now on, I'm going to seal all the seam in the in this book throughout the entire book because it's such a beautiful book, and I really don't want to lose any pages. I don't want to wreck it. It's fine, like I said, if I have color, but damage to the paper like that, uh, no. 
So that's what I'm doing today. I know it's a boring job, but somebody's got to do it. But yeah, um, I like the overall feel of the page. I just don't like these big patches. That one's fine here, but that's too much. So I think I'm going to do something about that. And I might give another wash with some glazing medium inside her uh, just to make her pop. But um, it was definitely a fun class to do. <laughs> There's a lot of dripping and a lot of finger painting, which I always love. And on that note, I have to go because bus. Sorry. Never a dull moment here. <laughs> All right, I have to go move my car because it's in a no parking zone in a few hours. They're gonna come and sweep the streets and I need to run to the store. So I will be talking to you real soon. Thank you for watching. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will see, see you later. Bye.